It's Jeep and these. We're back going live here at the event for Stuff Sweets Jeep and the Sub Zero Mission. But you, you never see who. run into out here. I ran my Olex Motorsports. Great guy. If you need any Jeep work done, you come see this man. Customized. Is that who I think? Is that a... Was how much is that doggy in the window? Um, you know, the, the usual formula stuff churned out. But when I was little... music. I was always interested in something in there. Keith Richards, the iconic guitarist of the Rolling Stones, is known not just for his influential music, but also for his often candid and sharp opinions about other musicians. Here are six notable instances where Keith Richards expressed criticism or disapproval of other artists. In his autobiography, Life, Keith Richards criticized Elton John's decision to turn his friend and bandmate John Lennon's memorial into a grand occasion, suggesting that it was more about self-promotion than genuine tribute. He used to hang with John off and on quite a bit, and he was outrageous. I mean, he was just a beautiful spirit, you know, I mean, he certainly didn't deserve that, you know. And is it, I mean, once again, we're bringing, I guess the older you get, the more we're going to go through this of saying, you know, like Graham Parsons and George, John, you know, I mean, what the hell am I doing here? You know what I mean? You know, as I say, the good die young. John was, uh, I think he used to come around and see me to so just sort of be one of the stones for a night and not be one of the Beatles. In other words, you know, you don't get outrageous. <laughs> Like, and uh, you know, and, uh, okay, you just sleep in front of the toilet, John, and you'll be all right. You know, I was kind of like that. I mean, we were just great mates, and uh, and he's a free spirit. Yeah, and basically uh, another one, jar wonderful, one love. Richards has been critical of the Beatles album, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, describing it as a mishmash of rubbish in an interview with Esquire magazine. Fair to say there were a few eyebrows raised recently when Keith Richards from the Rolling Stones went rogue and called Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band by the Beatles considered one of the greatest albums in rock history rubbish. Then again, it also made people aware that despite the fact Keith Richards is more zombie than mortal man, no one has the guts to tell him he actually passed away about 20 years ago. In various interviews, Richards has dismissed Led Zeppelin, particularly criticizing their musicianship. He once referred to them as hollow and said that Jimmy Page was a great session guitarist, but that as a band, they never took off. As a band, uh, I felt that aptly named, uh, it, they never took off for me musically. Uh, at the same time, Jimmy Page is one of the best guitar players I've ever known, and, and Barnum was a hell of a powerhouse uh, drummer, although I, don't, I think it's kind of heavy-handed myself, which that's where the lead comes in. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, Plant was exuberant. Robert's exuberant enough to be an LV, although I think he's very much in that English mode of LV, like Roger Daughtry, you know, you know, with the fringes and the blah, blah, and the microphone, and Rod Stewart's, and even Mick Jagger's kind of that. They all seem to sort of copy each other in a bit. But, um, I would say, you know, to me, Led Zeppelin is Jimmy Page. You know, you want to cut the story short. Jimmy, yeah, this shy boy. Richards has spoken dismissively about Prince, especially during the height of the latter's popularity in the 1980s. He referred to Prince as an overrated midget whose music didn't impress him, highlighting a perceived difference in musical depth.
Rolling Stone interview, Richards expressed his lack of enthusiasm for heavy metal music, singling out Black Sabbath by saying that he never liked that sort of music and always thought it was great for comedy. Richards has also been critical of the band Oasis, particularly of the Gallagher brothers, who are often vocally admiring of the Rolling Stones. He once commented on their infighting and chaotic lifestyle as unprofessional and suggested their music was too derivative of his own band's work. I was like, God, I've never met Keith Richards. And he said, oh, come up to the bar for a drink tonight. There. So uh, we go up to the bar. There is Keith Richards looking exactly, as you would imagine, like a scarf and a hat. Pirates of the Caribbean. And uh, <laughs> his son, his friend of mine, Marlon, said, Dad, it's only turned around. He went, ah. You're still around, are you? <laughs> and, uh, but his second line was, he said, one thing I've always wanted to ask you, who's the bigger <laughs> your singer or mine? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, as your singer wrote some of the greatest lyrics of all time, I'm going to say mine, I said. <laughs> That's and uh, he was like, yeah, your band, you were quite interesting there for a while. And I was like, I could actually say the same to you. <laughs> <laughs> but he was great, such a dude, and... It was kind of, yeah, you know, it, like, it was kind of reaffirms your faith in, in all your heroes when you meet Keith because he is the man. These examples highlight Keith Richards' frank and unfiltered style when discussing other musicians and bands, reflecting his deep seated views on music and performance authenticity. Uh, Keith, as someone sometimes be fairly critical of you, he was not too happy when you accepted a knighthood, was he? No, I mean, he's not a happy person. 